Hey, how's it going? This is Whit from Wits End Media, and I recently made a vid. I say recently, it was a couple weeks ago. Um, recently made a video on how to track text in DaVinci Resolve, and I had a couple of different people say, "How do you track images in DaVinci Resolve?" So this is what that video is: um, how to track images in DaVinci Resolve. Um, it's about the same process, but just a little bit different. So. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into DaVinci Resolve. So we're inside DaVinci. Um, let's grab my video clip I want. And I just grabbed this online. I did not shoot this myself, but as you can see, it's just a car moving. And what I want to do to it is I have this logo up here, and I'm just going to track this to that car. So let's go back in here, and let's go to the Fusion page. Uh, let's just start. I'm just going to move my playhead right here in the middle of the clip. Um, so I'm gonna click on the media in one node, click shift spacebar. Let's look up track until we find the planar tracker. Okay, from here, um, we have all this um, settings in the inspector. Let's first off, we have track right here. Let's click set. So we're gonna set our reference time. So when we go like track to the end, then when we click go, it's gonna go back to that point that we set for then we can track to the start. So from here, we have motion track top point. Um, I'm going to do translation again. Um, I did this a little bit ago. Um, this is actually my second attempt at this video. And I did um, translation rotation scale. And it kind of did some funky movements, especially with the scale. So we're just going to do translation. And we're just going to keep all this the same. And now what we need to do is actually draw where we want to track. So I'm going to track this car. It doesn't have to be perfect just for it knows what you're tracking. There we go. And now that we have the track done, we're gonna click track to start, or track to end first. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna click go. I was explaining before, we set that reference time, and then we're gonna go, go back to that point. For now, we can track to the start of the clip. And yay, it tracked. From here, let's create a planner transform. And what this basically does is all this information we tracked is getting pushed from this planner tracker to this planner transform and telling it everything that we tracked is the movements we need to do, basically. So, and also a side note, you can create as many planner transforms as you want. It's unlimited, but we just need one. So, and I, you can actually delete the planner tracker because we don't need that anymore. Let's grab a merge node. And let's go to our media pool, take our image, that I want, which is that logo, and let's put it right on that merge. From here, I can put another transform, not a not a planar transform, but just a regular transform. So then I can size this down and you know, probably something that small. I don't want that logo being too big. It's all an example, but and then I can take this plan transform, put it right between these two, and now it is tracking, but at the wrong spot. So we can take this um, trans form node and just move it right over here say on top of the car and now it is tracking and that's basically it um if you guys want like a more perfect result i suggest using keyframes so like in the edit page uh, if we just dragged in like another say video clip dragged in another logo um whew, that's big and let's move this like to wherever the car is at so like as the car is moving, we click all these and like go each frame by frame and whatever, which takes way too long. I really don't like doing that. That's why I like using the planner transform because it's quick, easy, and simple out the door, boom. But um, if you guys do want to know how to do um, use keyframes and all that stuff in DaVinci Resolve, leave me a comment down below. Um, as you can tell, I obviously answer the comments because this is what this video is from, people commenting and asking. And if you guys do have any video ideas or just stuff you want to know, even if I don't make a video on it, I'll most likely, I'll, I will answer it in the comments. So um, yeah, make sure to leave any comments down below. Um, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, if you guys want to see more like these in the future, comment down below. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.